Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the percent dissociation of a weak acid when you know the initial acid concentration and the pH. The specific problem we'll be solving here asks you to calculate the percent dissociation of 0.05 molar nitrous acid at 25 degrees Celsius in a solution with a pH of 2.32. So first, I need to define percent dissociation. So we'll say percent dissociation is equal to the concentration of the acid that is dissociated over the initial concentration of that acid. And it's because it's a percent, we multiply by 100. So the HA refers to the generic acid in this general acid dissociation equation, where you have an acid donating a proton to water to give you a hydronium ion and the conjugate base of that acid. So as you can see from this equation, the acid that is dissociated is really equal to the hydronium ion concentration because when an acid dissociates, it donates its proton to the water. So the amount that dissociates is really equal to the hydronium ion concentration in that solution. So for our specific situation, this equation is going to be nitrous acid plus water going to hydronium ion plus nitrite with a conjugate base of that acid. The percent dissociation here then is going to be equal to the concentration of nitrous acid that is dissociated divided by the initial concentration of nitrous acid multiplied by 100. So we know that the numerator is also equal to the concentration of hydronium ions and still divided by the initial concentration of nitrous acid multiplied by 100. The next thing we can do is to calculate the numerator or the hydronium ion concentration. And you can do this using the following relationship. You know that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. For this problem, we're given that pH is equal to 2.32. So this means the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 2.32, which is equal to 0 0.00479. So this will be the numerator when we're calculating percent dissociation. So we have 0.00479 as our hydronium ion concentration divided by the initial HNO2 concentration, which we're given in the problem to be 0 0.05 molar multiplied by 100. So when you do the math here, what you find to one significant figure is that this acid is 10% dissociated when the pH is 2.32 and the concentration of the acid is 0 0.05 molar. So there are two trends to be aware of here when you're thinking about dissociation of acids. The first one is that the percent dissociation is going to increase with increasing K values. KA values. So the higher the KA value, 
the higher the percent dissociation. And then the other trend is that for a given acid, so you're dealing with an acid with its with the one Ka value here, the percent dissociation increases as concentration of that acid decreases. So that's it. I showed you how to calculate percent dissociation if you know the solution pH and also the molarity of the acid in that solution and then talked about two important trends when it comes to percent dissociation for weak acids.